This is the latest Galaxy Watch 4 40mm with a full body screen protective case and that is what I'm going to talk about in this video. Guys, you're watching with you and if it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking. Here is your review, smartwatches, smartphones, earbuds, etc, surfing, all that kind of stuff, you must consider subscribing. I recently did a video on all the hidden features and settings of this Galaxy Watch 4 and it's linked at the end, be sure to check it out. Now this is not a sponsored video and I got this full body case with a built in tempered glass screen protector from Amazon for only 17 Canadian dollar. You can find the links to this case along with all the other accessories for Galaxy watches in the video description. You can find silicon bumper case without the built in screen protector, TPU film screen protector as well as tempered glass screen protector for around $10 from Amazon. But I chose to get this for a few reasons. Number one, the case is not a silicon case. It's a plastic like material case. More importantly, number two, it has a built in tempered glass screen protector. On this channel, I have reviewed a lot of smartwatch cases, screen protectors, styling bezels and accessories for a ton of smartwatches. And you can find all these videos on my channel under the video tab. But from using all these cases for more than two years, I can certainly say that don't go with the transparent silicon TPU full body case as over time they will turn yellowish and will look ugly like this full body case for my Galaxy Watch Active 2. And I will also not recommend you to go with just a screen protector or just a styling bezel like the one I have on this Galaxy Watch 3 and the Huawei Watch GT2. Especially if your work involves rough handling of the smartwatch as with just the screen protector you will damage the body like my Fitbit Sense and this happened with a fall from 3 foot height on my patio. Or a scratch on my Huawei Watch GT2 despite of it having the styling bezel. By the way these styling bezels by Rinky looks dope and the review video for this is linked at the end you can check it out once you're done watching this one. So after testing out all these cases, I personally would suggest for ultimate protection, you should go with a plastic like full body case with a built in tempered glass screen protector like I have one for my Apple Watch Series 6 and again the review video of this is linked in the card section. Now some of you may find such full body cases unesthetic and if you have a desk job, I agree with you. But if your work even remotely poses a risk of an impact, you should consider protecting the watch despite of this watch nowadays having a gorilla glass and a metal body. But as Jerry says, glass is glass and it can break. With all that said, let's check this case out with the application process. It came with a wet and a dry wipe. I got a silver case because it will match the silver aluminum body of my Galaxy Watch 4 40mm. However, there is a whole bunch of colors to choose from as shown in this image. I would caution you that if you go with a brighter color, over time the color will scratch out but thankfully those scratches won't be on your watch. Now the application process of this particular case is super easy. Start by aligning the button side first and just snap in the opposite side to the button and it's as easy as that. Now to uninstall I prefer to undo it from the side opposite to the button first and it should just pop out. Now let's talk about functionality. You can see aesthetically this case looks great and honestly if you have a Galaxy Watch 4 40mm like me with a bigger wrist then having this case will add a bit of a bulk to the watch which looks great in my opinion. Comment down below what do you think about this. Now, with this case being on the watch, I can easily access the buttons. The button hole is wide enough that it won't interrupt the process of taking a body composition analysis. The case is designed in a way that it won't even interfere the wristband replacement process. And obviously, you can see it won't even affect the charging process. So this case checks off all my requirements of easy application process, good aesthetics and functionality. Now since the Galaxy Watch 4 has a flat screen design versus the rounded glass on the previous iteration, the touch receptiveness with this case on it is not at all affected.
from my testing the digital rotating bezel is negatively affected. You can see with this case on the digital rotating bezel does not function well as it should with the case off. This digital rotating touch bezel of the Galaxy Watch 4 now works great with the latest update but with a case or a screen protector on it, it may not give you that satisfactory feel. But it ain't a deal breaker for me especially when I know that the screen is protected. Now having a built-in 9H hardness scratch resistant tempered glass screen protector, I'm not even worried of having any scratches from day to day use. And with a fall from a significant height, the tempered glass will crack but the watch will be protected. Another difference I noticed with having a silicon screen protector versus a tempered glass screen protector is the fingerprints. If you have a full body silicon case, it will be a fingerprint magnet. But with this tempered glass screen protector, there is minimal smudges and fingerprints. Finally, let's wrap this video up with a water test as a lot of people will say the water gets in between the watch and starts the accidental touch. From my testing during a workout, my sweat did not get in between the display and the screen protector, neither it did with washing hands or doing dishes. However, if you were to dunk the watch underwater, that will certainly happen. But in that case, it is recommended to turn on the water lock mode anyways to avoid accidental touch with water. However, on the bright side, you can easily take off the case and clean both the watch as well as the case and slap it back on. There you go. Guys, please hit that like button as it really helps out my channel a lot and it's free for you to do so. And so is to hit that subscribe button as in doing so you won't miss out any upcoming videos. I have entire playlist filled with a lot of videos for a variety of smartwatches and smartphones. Be sure to check it out and I bet you will like it. So that is it with this episode. Thank you so much for watching and check out these videos as you may find them enticing.